Okay guys, we're just going to hit a couple of shots of that to that flag that's about 65 yards away. Just going to do some of the the ready code with the pitching. And we had just a little session, you know, a couple of weeks ago, uh, Mr. X and myself, we were just walking down to that green down there. And it was just extraordinary. I mentioned it to you guys, you know, briefly. But this is what it is. And for anybody who's a bad pitcher, and I think the majority of people pitch the ball badly because they try and do too much in a short pitch shot. You know, they'll cock the club up here, fan it open, you know, bring it up here or long, and then they, in a little swing, you've got a, you know, that open club face or whatever you're doing with it and that cocking. You've got to get rid of all that by the time you get it back to the ball, and you don't have a lot of time to do that. So what we want to do is have the ready code and the arm ball, and, and which is essentially this. We go to here, hold it, and then we just arm ball it here. This, this is what it should look like in terms of tempo. And there's no flipping in that shot, guys. Absolutely zero flipping. And we're not doing this. It's just an arm ball. Okay, you can you can have more more ready coat. More 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 uh, more pause. Have more pause than that. We'll just hit a couple of the flag here. Flag's about 65, the wind is left to right. How's that bucket of ball in the way? Very severe slope to the left here, guys, and that's just sitting on a little, almost what we call that, the volcano, just on the top of the hill. That ball has just come down, just gone, just went straight left. Just stopped dead. Just stopped dead. Just kicked to the right with so much spin on. Guys, it's just a it's just a two-hop stopper. Now what I do, which is again is completely opposite to conventional pitching. If someone's going to pitch, they normally always load left. Get their hands forward, load left, and here. I don't do any of that. I get the club straight up and down, and I unload left. I get, I load right, and I unload that. Right here, I really don't load on that lead side at all. I load down through that vertical axis. It's really severe slope there, guys. So anything that's not to the basically a little bit to the right of the flag is going to kick down the hill. But they're stopping going down the hill. They're, they're not going down the hill. They're actually stopping going down the hill. And look at that. That ball stopped in six or eight inches. Six or eight inches and it's just stopped dead. Because there's none of this, guys. We're not doing it with the blade. There's not a lot of over-release. There's no jamming. It's just an arm ball. And I haven't done it before. But, you know, I've got no angle on the shaft. So I've got the pure 56 degrees of the sand iron. Go in. Go in. Go in. If that hadn't, that hadn't checked up, I think there was a chance to go in. Just checked up too much and just kicked left. As soon as it starts to, as soon as it hits the ground, it just starts to spin and goes left. And how do you get spin when you're not hitting it hard? We're hitting it with the true, true loft of the golf club and club in a straight line.
Come on, hit it. Oh, let's try to jam that one in there a little bit. The old habits die hard. Okay. Come on, Chase. Load right. I had too much weight on my lead side then, which makes you jam the ball, which is the way I pitch the ball. I usually hit it in hard and low and grab it. Um, and because uh, I felt my more weight was a little bit left and that made me do that. Come on. Load right. <clears throat> Yes. God, I haven't done this before. That's the one. That's the one. Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Oh, just stopped the foot short. I haven't done this before, guys. But it's great, you're not, you know, I, mean, I haven't hit any, any flubbers, and I thought I would hit quite a few. But I really didn't after the other day. That's the number. Come on, kick left, baby. Come on, go in, go in. Oh, just went behind the play. So, guys, that's the uh, that's the arm ball pitching. We load, we load right. We don't load right, left. We get the club in a straight line. We don't, we don't load left, and we don't put this on it. Now, what happens with pitching? And I think the reason most people drag the ball when they pitch is because when they set up and they have the hands forward, the blades open. And subconsciously, the, the brain sees the blade open. As they come in, they close it, and that's how they drag the ball. Because the majority of club players drag all their pitch shots. So here we are. We're loading right for a right-hander. Guys, it's just another way to pitch the ball. I'm going to do more in-depth stuff on it as... Uh, as time goes by, but I mean that's not first up effort. I mean, pretty good, and it's a great feeling. It's, well, great feeling. It's a really strange feeling, but it's a lot of fun. Okay, guys, we'll do something more in depth in coming videos.